Hi, welcome to my channel. It's Romenda Mina here again. Today is the 27th of February, Sunday. And my question for you is this. Do you always try to make your time productive? I mean, even on the weekend, like Sundays, you want to wake up early in the morning and so you would be able to accomplish a lot within the day. Probably. But, well, I mean, myself, I have this tendency. I want to be productive even on Sunday. And this morning, when I... Well, I woke up a number of times and went to bed a number of times as well. I woke up the first time and brushed my teeth and then I started reading and then I felt like my eyes wanted more sleep so I went back to bed and so it went on a number of times waking up and going back to bed and so um, on the last time that I was in bed, on the bed, before finally really waking up. I had these thoughts. Um, I was thinking, um, I'm supposed to do my regular attitude of gratitude. It's time for it um, already. I mean, early in the morning, I'm supposed to do it. And other things that I would do every day on as my morning routine like scripting my day and my reading I'm supposed to do it then I had this thought came to my mind it says it's rest day today so I'm like oh yeah that's right today is rest day today is Sunday and even though I didn't really wake up at 3 in the morning or 4 in the morning as I would always do every day, it's okay because throughout the day today, I would be reading, I would be attending church online, and I would be pondering on the things I learned from church and from my reading and so I would be meditating when you ponder you're meditating right so and also the voice told me you're already doing what you can to be able to achieve your goals and so um, you don't need to be so rigid with yourself you can give yourself a lot of love and this is really an aha moment for me um, I do know that as I love myself more I'm able to love myself others more as well because we can give only what we have we cannot give what we do not have so if i'm lacking with love of myself that would also shows with how i treat other people so now i realize wow my love for myself is something that i'm supposed to also learn to uh, do more and make it grow because then I would be able to also love others more my love for others will also grow as I love other myself more this is amazing and it's true I've been already doing what I can to be able to reach my goals every day I would wake up early morning, 
three or four o'clock in the morning and I would do my routine my uh, morning routines and I would uh, within the day at work when I'm free I would study I would uh, practice my skill as a high ticket closer and when I come home I would also do some practice when I'm already done with preparing presentations for my classes and now I'm just so happy that I don't need to prepare those PowerPoint presentations anymore starting this week as I told you in my video yesterday I, we are already gonna be getting back to doing regular classes at school and I've been really doing my best with my job and with this uh, new career to develop my to hone my high income skill as a high ticket closer I'm doing my part each and every day and so um, I'm supposed to give myself more love for doing that tell myself I'm proud of you Romenda I'm proud of you and tell myself I love you you are able to do what you can to be able to reach your goals to get closer to your goals each and every day and so I can really I mean, I can enjoy the rest day, Sunday, every day. I mean, every, every week. Um, I'm not really hoping that every day is a rest day. What I'm hoping is I would be able to free up my time every day so I would be able to spend more time with the most important things like i would love to spend more time with my own family not only with my husband but with my family back home in my home country in the philippines my mom my siblings my nieces and my nephews and i would love to be able to visit my big sister in the u.s and those things that i would love to do i would love to do it with my time and so that's why I set my goals I set my goal to be able to start earning more so then I would be able to achieve my goals in other aspects of my life as I achieve my financial goals I will be able to achieve my my goals in not only with my personal life having those things which I want but also my my goal with how I would spend my time like as I mentioned spending more time with my family and also spending more time with doing work for the church where I belong and those goals which I set uh, it seems like it's um, you know it's only for my convenience it's only for luxury but it's actually there are there's purpose for those goals like my this goal that I have to be able to move to another place a new place which is more convenient um, the very reason I set that goal is I love the location of that place that location would allow us my husband and I we would be able to go to church by just taking a walk we can take like 5-10 minutes walk and we'll be it, we'll get to the church already 
it's easier and so my my time the time that I'm spending in traveling to go to church and come to come home from church I can spend that time in other more important things and right now um, it so happened that we are having church online because of the COVID situation and um, this is also a blessing actually because the time that I would have to spend traveling to go to church and to come back I'm able to spend it in more productive things like making videos like this one I'm gonna make another video because I've been doing these um, videos on about the most fav my most favorite book. I read from it and I share my insights every Sunday and I'm doing it. So that's another video that, that I'm making today after I made this one. I'm also attending a meeting online with my accountability group we have this community community in this training that I've been through and we're able to have this community where we would uh, meet together every week and we are sh sharing what we have accomplished within the week our challenges and so we are able to help one another to be able to stay uh, to keep ourselves accountable so we would stay on track with our goals and that's really great i also attended another accountability meeting yesterday that's with um, those of us there are three of us who are who got in the same company and we have that meeting as well, similar to the meet meeting that I'm gonna attend right after this video that I'm making. Um, there we go. These meetings help me to stay on track. And yes, I'm attending this meeting as much as possible, unless when I'm feeling a little bit sick. And yeah, this, this is one of the things which I'm doing so I would be able to reach my goals. And so that voice telling me you're already doing what you can, it's right. And I know it's coming from God because God watches over us. The voice in our head which tells us what to do, the right things to do, and comforts us and help us remember things that voice is from God I do believe that and I know that that is true and I'm grateful that I'm able to share this with you as well as I share with you my updates for today in my adventure I really love this adventure my adventure as I get closer to achieving my goals. There we go. Thank you for watching. Tomorrow again. <laughs>